What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are actually going to be something that I think a lot of Mustangs should actually come with. So let me explain a little bit. Manual Mustangs. Let me make that clear. So from the factory, Ford gives you um, a plastic clutch line basically. And over time, uh, the plastic with how much heat it starts taking, it starts to warp and kind of do its own thing. Which if you notice, I notice it on my car and on my GT when I had headers, it was kind of a big deal um after long drives or even just like pulls or something like that it would become so heated and so warped that when i go to push in the clutch pedal it would become extremely hard which is basically because it's plastic line it's causing it to warp and misshape over time and because of how much heat it's taking on so what we have we actually have a stainless line right here and this is actually from j and m i got it off of team beefcake i'll go ahead and link the uh put the link to this in the description now i believe um they also sell it for 11 to 14 as well. So if you want to go ahead and get yourself one, JM also sells it. I mean, I had Ford Performance on the last car and it's almost literally like the same thing. So basically what this is going to do, it's going to be a metal line instead of plastic. So when it takes on all that heat coming in from the engine bay and if you have headers or anything else causing a lot more heat to be into the engine bay, it's not going to cause the line to warp. It's going to keep your clutch pedal a lot more consistent and a lot more linear. So let's go ahead, get this car jacked up and let's get started on the install. Now this will be a lot better if your engine was already cooled down. Mine is not, so it's going to be a little bit hot. But let me see if I can get an angle on this. Oh, there we go. So, let me grab a light here. Over here, into the engine bay, you can see the master cylinder. Right below the master cylinder, there's going to be that line right there. Let me try to zoom in on it for you. Right there, that one, that's kind of in focus right there. Yeah, right there. So that actually has a tension clip on it. You kind of see the clip right there. All we have to do is just release that clip and it'll basically allow that piece to come out. Now, if you look, the line actually goes all the way down. The line goes all the way down to the transmission. So if we go underneath the car, it's going to be right there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but yeah. And that also has a tension clip on it, but you're gonna be releasing it from the top. And this is going to be a pain because it is hot right now. So right now, right now my engine is a little bit too hot to be working on. And if you're having the same issue as me, you probably don't wanna work on it because I just got new tires put on. So we're gonna wait a little bit for it to cool down. But once it cools down, then we'll go ahead and hop up and start swapping out that clutch line. It's been about 30 minutes now. So what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and start. So basically, if you want to remove, if you have a strut tire brace, you want to remove it, you can. Um, for me, it's not really too much in the way, but how do I do this? There's going to be a clip on the clutch line, basically, and you have to use a flathead or some, some kind of pick or something to just basically pop it out of place. Don't pull it off. It's extremely fragile, and if your engine is warm or the clip is warm, it's very possible that it could break. It's happened to me before. Um, all you have to do is just pop it out of place and allow the clutch line to basically come out. Don't exactly do it just yet. You definitely want to do the top first before you do the bottom or else fluid is just going to be leaking consistently from the bottom. And just like that, the clip is released. Let me show you guys what it looks like. You guys can see there, that's the clip right there. All I did was basically just pull it out from the side and you can see it's kind of kind of catching and holding itself a little bit there and that's all you have to do don't go ahead and remove the clip entirely because if you do you're just going to make your life even more of a headache trying to get this thing out so now we're going to go underneath the car and do it from there that's the clip that we just pried out on right there and basically that's where the clutch line is going to be coming out from now don't remove the bottom just yet you definitely want to wait and do the top first, and that's because, like I said, if you pull out the bottom first, the fluid is just going to continuously dripping onto the floor. If you pull out the top first, you're not going to have any pressure going through the line still and any fluid dripping downwards, so that's why we're going to pull the top first, then go to the bottom. All right, so we have the clutch line connected. Let me show you. You can see right there, that's our new line right there. Yeah. And I don't know if you can see the metal pushing up against the rubber, but make sure when you do it, 
that this piece right here, this piece is flush up against both mounts. Same thing for underneath the car. Underneath the car, what I did is I actually took out the two bolts to the transmission mount and allowed the left side to drop a little bit. So I just gotta go put those back in. But after that, it should push all the way down into place. Definitely helps if you have a light and then just push those clips back in and you'll be all set. Now what we have to do is basically just bleed, bleed, the clutch, bleh, bleed the clutch. So what we're going to do here, just loosen the cap on this. There we go. How I check brake fluid usually. I take a light, I stick it on there. And you can see that right there is our max, maybe you can't see. Well, that right there is our max line. And you can see partially our fluid is sitting right about there. So we are gonna have to add some fluid to it only because of how much fluid had dropped. So grab your fluid and let's add it in. All right, we have our fluid in. Now here's the fun part. Now is the time to actually bleed the clutch. So to do this, what we literally have to do here, we literally have to sit here, push in the clutch pedal, it's super light now and you just have to keep pumping as you do this make sure no clutch fluid is squirting out from up top or at the bottom either so i'm going to do a few pumps check underneath the car we look good check up top of the car top of the car is good as well no leaks so we're just going to keep pumping this is going to be a huge workout and it's gonna take a while. So I'm gonna to skip to when it starts uh, actually getting pressure again. Now our pedal's coming back because if I let it go, it should basically come back up now. So just to give you an idea, that took probably about a few minutes. I don't actually know how long it took. So if you're doing it and you realize you're not feeling anything, just give it a few more minutes. As long as there's no leaks, you should be fine. So now I'm just gonna hop in the car, still continue to pump it, but I'm actually gonna do it with my foot now since it's actually returning to its original position. So now we have to do that. All right, you guys, so we have the clutch completely bled. I rolled out the car here. The car drives perfectly fine. You're gonna notice as you start to drive it maybe, um, the clutch will start to get loose again. Just keep pumping it. It's gonna take a little bit, probably maybe about a day, I'd say I'd probably notice it. That's when it really starts to come back. Um, if you need to get more fluid, go ahead and do that. And if you still need to bleed it out, make sure to pop off the cap, let out any pressure that's still in the system, bleed it out, and then go and top it off to hold the pressure in there. Other than that, guys, that is it for replacing the clutch line. That is also going to be it for this video. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and put a link down to the clutch line that I used. Like I said, it was from uh, Team Beefcake. And I do believe they also sell um, 11 to 14 lines as well, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's a great upgrade. I mean, the Ford Performance line is almost like $300, and this is basically like the same exact thing from what I've noticed from the Ford Performance one, but for literally a third of the cost. So that's a huge difference there. But I'll go ahead and drop the link in the description at the bottom there. And if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to drop a comment or shoot me a message on Instagram. I'll be glad to be able to help you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.